Hello and welcome to the channel. The new army chief has tossed troops of the Nigerian army to clamp down on the Simon Ekbar led faction of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, who are planning to enforce a two week sit at home in the southeast. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Army chief orders troops to counter sit at home enforcers. The chief of army staff, Major General Taho Reed Lagbaja, has directed troops of the Nigerian army to assert control over regions where Simon Ekbar, a self-acclaimed disciple of Namdi Kano, detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra High Pub, imposed the sit at home order in the southeast. He spoke as the Anambra State Commissioner of Police, Aderemi Adeoye, assured yesterday that the State Police Command would continue to provide security in Anambra for people who want to go about their businesses without hindrance, stressing that the police have no business with people who prefer to sit at home when they are supposed to be working to earn their living. This is even as the Labour Party presidential candidate during the February 25th presidential election, Peter Hobby has described the insecurity in the southeast region as criminal activity. He said, though the activities were being attributed to the indigenous people of Biafra, the proscribed group has constantly distanced itself from the crimes. Lagbaja's directive was in response to an announcement made by Finland-based pro-Biafra agitator Simon Ekbar, who ordered a two-week sit-at-home protest scheduled to commence on Monday. July 31st. Ekbar said the protest aimed to demand the immediate and unconditional release of the high pub leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu, was sacrosanct, noting that the seat at home order was to facilitate the freedom of the Biafra nation among other objectives. The pro Biafra agitator, however, warned that disobeying the seat at home order would have serious consequences. The director of army, public relations, Brigadier General Onyema Noashuku, however, declared Ekbar's announcement unlawful and stated that it would not be tolerated. Noashuku said that the 82 Division of the Nigerian Army, in collaboration with other security agencies, has been directed to conduct robust patrols, secure flashpoints, and ensure that citizens can freely carry out their lawful activities. The renewed threat by IPOP to compel the people in southeast Nigeria to sit at home is not only appalling, but a violation of the fundamental rights of southeastern Nigerians and therefore unlawful. This will never be condoned, Noashuku stated. The chief of army staff has handed down clear directives to the 82 Division of the Nigerian Army operating in synergy with other security agencies to ensure robust patrols to dominate all flashpoints and in place measures to ensure citizens are free to go about their legitimate businesses. The army spokesperson, however, called upon Nigerians in the southeast region to disregard the seat at home order and encourage them to support the security forces in their efforts to counter IPOB. We implore the good and enterprising people of the southeast to shun all forms of cajoling or threats aimed at unlawfully compelling them to be reclusive by sitting at home. We urge them to join forces with the security operatives to resist this illegality perpetrated by HIPOB. Similarly, the police have vowed to resist the state at home order in any part of the Southeast. He noted that Ekwa, who claims leadership of HIPOB, resides in Finland and issues command from there while expecting people in Nigeria to comply with his orders, which the army finds unacceptable. Similarly, the Nigeria police force has vowed to resist the sit at home order in any part of the Southeast. The force spokesperson, Muyiwa Adejobi, confirmed that the police have taken action against non state actors enforcing the order, resulting in arrest and the confiscation of weapons. Adejobi assured Southeast citizens that adequate security measures had been put in place to protect them and urged them to continue with their lawful activities. We have no business with those who prefer to sit at home, says Anambra CP. A statement came on the heels of the self-acclaimed Biafra agitator Simon Ekbar that there will be a lockdown of the Southeast for two weeks from July 31st, 2023. 
addressing reporters at the state police headquarters at the year described as unfortunate a situation whereby people now work for four days a week but get a salary for five days. He said, from the point of law enforcement, sitting at home is an illegal affair. Those making the declaration for the sit at home belong to an organization that competent courts have described as illegal. Our duty as security agencies is to provide adequate security for the people to the best of our ability. But it is the people who have the prerogative to decide whether to sit at home or not. We cannot enter anybody's house to drag him out because if we do that, we will be infringing on the person's fundamental human rights since he has freedom of choice. Despite the action of security operatives, some people support the sit at home, which is rooted in the agitation for a separatist enclave called Biafra. Those who work for four days see Mondays as an extra holiday. As long as we can protect those doing their businesses, we have no businesses with those who prefer to sit at home. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Adeo Ye vowed that under his watch, Anambra would be a hot place for criminals, adding that the command would collaborate with other states in the southeast to secure the zone. Meanwhile, Labour Party presidential standard bearer Peter Hobby has lamented the impact on the southeast businesses and blamed criminals. According to the Labour Party candidates, what is going on in the southeast is essentially a criminal activity. Also disturbing is the continued disruption of business and social activities in the southeast region over the seat at home directive purported to be coming from the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, when the body has publicly denied issuing such directive. What is going on in the southeast, therefore, is essentially a criminal activity that must be nipped in the bud with all hands being on deck, security agencies and the people alike, or be said in a series of tweets on his Twitter handle on Thursday. While commending the governors from the region, he said the state helmsmen need to be more strategic and intelligence-driven. He said the Southeast governors are to be commended for their renewed efforts at curbing this menace, but there is a need to be more strategic and intelligence-driven in our approach to reducing the suffering of innocent people. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.